Oh, he just walked on top of that, yet that does not kill him when it should. Okay, anyways, now we got done with that. I need more health. Oh, wait, that's an artifact. I'm not supposed to be shooting that. Duh. I'm supposed to be shooting this thing down here. And causing enemies to spot me. Okay, why is that not working? Do I have to actually talk to the things? No. Well, there's Rajad right there. And great, he sees me! Crap! Have I mentioned how much I hate Bentley yet? Why can't they just give Sly this mission? He could pickpocket the guy. That could work just as well. Okay, get out of the way. Come on, go that way. Crap. Get out of his line of sight. Oh, come on. You son of a bitch. Okay, go that way. Turn around. Keep going that way, Rajad. Eat the melon. Damn it! Oh my god, this mission's never gonna end because Bentley sucks ass! And he can only kill one enemy with a bomb. Yet they were all in the range. There. Try this again. I really hope there are no Bentley fanboys out there, because they're going to be so pissed at me. The fact that I'm always ragging on their favorite character. Okay, he is not going towards the damn thing. Maybe I have to shoot him. Okay, the game said that I shoot the watermelon, which will cause it to lure Rajan over to it. That's not happening. No, leave me alone. So that's what you need to do. You need to shoot a path towards the watermelon, not the watermelon itself, like the game seems to try to imply. Oh, shoot the watermelon, he's injected a new radar to it that will attract Rajan. No, the radar is not strong enough. They seem to leave that point out now, don't they? God, I hate Bentley. How much more useless can they make the character? You know, I'm starting to think that the game wants you to hate Bentley. As if him being a smug son of a bitch wasn't bad enough. <laughs> I can only laugh. I have never hated a video game character this much before. This way, come on. Damn it. Okay, where is the next watermelon?
over there, and where's the third one? Right there. So I guess we should just lure him this way. Whoops. Actually, how do we get him to that watermelon over there? It's not like he can cross water. So I need to get up on the bridge again. Son of a bitch. So troubling last time. Actually, I can probably lure him around this way, couldn't I? Woo, he almost saw me. And how much you want to bet if you fail this mission, you got to do all three watermelons again? Keep going that way. The elephant's fat ass is getting in your way, isn't it? Oh my god, he turned around, he could have seen me. Now go that way. He doesn't want to. My Crap! Well, time to find out how bad my luck really is. Do I have to repeat that first watermelon? Oh, thank God they didn't. Well, at least there's a plus. And he spawns right next to that watermelon there. Another plus. Okay, that's two out of three. Still got one more to do. And I have to actually find a way to get him to that other one. Okay, I don't even get that expression. Viper in the grass. Snake in my boot. Now I get that. Let's see if we can get him to cross the bridge. That may be what we need to do in order to get him all the way up here. And then to the next one. Keep coming this way until you eventually spot me. Okay. I'm too obvious for him. I'm too much in the way. Bomb for you. Oh, that's too far for him to see. No, don't jump down there, you son of a bitch. Actually, you know what? Him jumping down like that could have been a good sign. That means that he has the ability to jump, which means he may be able to jump that creek and get to the other watermelon a lot easier. Oh, thank God he can. Come on, you're inches away from the watermelon. Go get it. No, 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 no! And as soon as I jump up here, he's going to spot me. Actually, where did he go? I 
love how he shouts out Sly, because he knows he can't do jack by himself. No, 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 no! And I just dropped down here like a son of a bitch that I am. In the grass. Fucking hell! There's gonna have to be so much censoring in this. After I finish this mission, after I finish this mission, I am so done for the day. Funny what Bentley can do to you. Bentley can just suck the fun out of any game. And see, this is why I knew I wanted to save Bentley for last because he sucks, and I knew he was gonna drain the fun from the game. That's what Bentley does. He sucks. In more ways than one. If he actually gets his legs broken in this game and actually shows a cutscene like that, I'm gonna be laughing so hard. I'm gonna throw a party. If anyone out there actually likes the character, I'm sorry. No, wait, no, I'm not sorry. Because he sucks! Now there's a damn enemy that keeps popping up and killing me. Oh, of course, another one right there. Why not? Well, hopefully that takes care of the problem I've been having. Now I just have to hope they don't respawn. At least give them some time before they respawn. Okay, that should be hitting him. Why was it not hitting that damn ram? The crosshairs were right on him. Whatever. All I know is I need to take down this guy first. Oh my god, son of a bitch. There! Finally! Jesus Christ! What? The blueprints! They have been stolen! That's the complete set of blueprints. Great field work, Bentley. You're really getting the hang of this. No! He's not getting the hang of it because he still sucks! I've got some bad news. Rajan has gone into hiding somewhere in the temple. I guess the destruction of his satellite array and my invasion of his personal space to get the blueprint spooked him. To get his portion of the clockwork heart, we'll need to drive him out into the open. Given Rajan's spy-saddled temper, I'd recommend making him angry. First, we'll destroy the center of his operation, the Spice Grinder. Then we'll demolish the dam above the temple in an attempt to flood him out. If that doesn't work, I've made arrangements to exchange one of the temple's facade rubies for some high explosives, which, if necessary, we can use to flood the whole temple grotto. If my psychological profile is accurate, Rajan should pick up the other half of the clockwork heart before making his escape, effectively bringing it to us. Now, you want to know the real bad news? Is that I'm going to have to use Bentley again. That's the real bad news of that. God. Well, do we have anything to sell? No? Okay, then I'm going to call this a set now because Bentley just sucks the fun out of this entire game. So I'll see you next week for more Slide 2. Until then, adios.